Hi guys, it's Carol with My Graphic Fairy. Um, I created these monogram labels. You saw them in the group. And I had some people asking how I made them. This is the maximum amount that you can fit where they're... I set them at one inch wide. And it seems that you can fit 25. If I tried to add another row, it would start putting them on a second sheet. I wanted you to see how it laid them out because on the it, on the design screen, it does not look like this. So here is the mess that I have. <laughs> so as you can see, they're just kind of random, but there is 25 of them there. I am going to go start a new project so you can see the steps that I did, though. Okay, so this was actually really simple. I used the Regal font for my letter. So I take a circle, I duplicated it, made it ever so much smaller, and select them both centered it and slice delete the middle one so now it gives me my ring set the color to a nice little plum color and I went into insert images Butterfly. Oops, if I could spell. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I took this cute little butterfly here. It's just on the first row. I want a little side image of a butterfly. Shrunk them down, put them right here at the circle, select all, welded them together. So there's, I got the butterfly with the circle. Now I insert another shape, do the circle. Mm -hmm. I set that to white and I'm going to move it to the back. Now, now that I have this white and then circle. Now this is important that I have the white here because when I'm going to flatten it, you need to actually have something here. I made a mistake before and I put the letter here and I didn't have a, anything here and it wanted to cut the letter and the outer part. Not what we're wanting. But now I'm going to flatten this first before I do anything else. Now, put my letter and change the font to regal this is running so slow Change the color to purple. And now again, select it all together and flatten it. Now, and since it's flattened, it has now changed. It's going to do print and cut. And since it's all flattened together and I had the background, when you go to go, it will only cut around the outer part and leave the center part alone. Now to make my stickers I had adjusted it down to a one inch a one inch width let the height adjust and then I 
just duplicated it. Take the five. Circle. And then duplicate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyways, because this is running super slow, I just duplicated it until I knew I had 25 there, and then when you go, when you do go, it automatically aligns them on the mat for printing, like you saw on the other project. There you go. That's about the maximum, though. It's one inch wide get something that's decent size but you know not super big so that is how I make my little monogram stickers hope that helps make sure you subscribe and I will be having a site soon guys so it will be mygraphicfairy.com the site is up but it's my web design site right now so <laughs> I'm making some changes so subscribe here and I'll let you know when that's up and Talk to you guys later.